What's going on? What's going on, y'all? This is the Conscious One, aka Naga and Cambodia, coming at you back with another audio. And before I get in on this topic, I just want to warn the so called men or guys that listen to this. This is a warning. If you get easily butt hurt, if you get offended, if you get in that player hating mode, don't listen to this audio. Just just move on and uh, you know, go watch somebody else's channel. This is not for you. This this for guys that know what's up. So here I am sitting at 40 years old and I'm looking at the situation and I think too I like to thank the most high for giving me the strength to deal with all the things that I've had to deal with in this life, all the stresses, all the trials, all the tribulations, to still come out of this looking good and still come out of this being on top, you know, mentally and physically. I thank the most high for that. Also, before I start, uh, I would like to get a shout out to my cousin, David Burt. I'd like to give a shout out to Rollo from the Rollo Show. I'd like to give a shout out to Kurt, Jamaican brother out on the field. And um I'm trying to think it's gotta be it's gotta be somebody else. Yeah, I just want to give a shout out to the guys that, you know, have inspired me over the years to do the things that I'm doing. Because nobody can do it by themselves. You know, um my cousin David sent me a photo yesterday and he made a he made a comment. He said something wasn't his exact words, but he basically said, you know, if you're not in this to win it, then get then get out of here. You know, if if you if if you're not if you're not in this to come out on top, then what you doing this for? And he had a picture of him flexing. I, I guess he lost some weight. And he's getting back in shape. Me and David, my cousin, David, we go way back. I, I, would, I would think it's pretty much safe to say that me and David are physically the strongest men in the family. I used to, I mean, me and him used to play basketball and we used to dominate guys. And what I mean dominate, I mean we were above street ball level. We were probably on a college level because we didn't play too much together. But when we did play, when we did play on street ball, guys, and let me just put it, when me and David played on the same team, all it had to be was me and David. Yeah, it was four on four. It was five on five. We most most of the time we played full court, but all you have to do was put me and David on a team, and we will win. And we will beat guys, and they will have to go sit down, and we would just keep winning until we just said, okay, we're gonna let them win. That's how good me and this guy was on the basketball court. And there are those who grew up with us who may undermine what I'm saying, but me and David know that this is true. We also know that me and him were the most physical, physically strong men in the family. You know, genetics plays a huge role in men being tough. Now, I'm going to go into my, you can call it midlife crisis rant, if you want to call it. No, this is not a narcissistic rant. I'm just going to tell it how it is because I spent a lot of time talking about what women not doing. Now it's time for me to talk about the guys, what the guys not doing, and what I see from the guys out here, the average American guy. Guys, it's, it's, it's embarrassing. Men are more physically weak than they have ever been probably in the history of this world. We can blame it on chemtrails, we can blame it on the diet, we can blame it on the water, we can blame we can blame it on all kind of things. But the facts is, is that when I'm out in the workforce and I see women that are 
you know, here in New York, the minimum wage is $15 an hour. Oh, I know who I want to give a shout out to. Shout out to Dennis here in New York. I appreciate you, brother, uh, for shining. Uh, your, your comments do mean a lot to me. I appreciate it. I know it feels like I'm, I'm kind of following you. Maybe I am, but <laughs> I appreciate the comments, bro. So getting back to what I was saying, uh, you know, about being, you know, physically on top. You know, it, genetics does play a role in, in all of this. But when I see these women out in the workforce here in New York, minimum wage is $15 an hour. Now, guys, I want you to think about this. Now, these, these women are probably making around $1,700 uh, a month. And they're working hard. I mean, at McDonald's. I work with a bunch of Dominican women out in the field. And so they probably bring home about $1,700. And guys, the question I got to ask you, if you bring it home the same amount that a woman, that the modern day American woman is bringing home, what do you expect that you're not attracting these women, that these women don't have any respect for you? That's, that's the most part is respect. Forget about love. Forget about that, that BS. We're talking about respect. Why should the average woman out here making $1,700 a month who's working around other guys that's making around the same why should a woman respect a man like that if I was a woman I couldn't respect a man like that what I'm saying guys is that you gotta physically step up your game now those of you who are making twice as much as a woman good job and for those of you who not who are making the same salary as these women making out here, you got some work to do. Because again, why should a woman respect a man if she's making the same amount of money? Forget all the blame and oh, you know they put women in the workforce and this. Listen, I'm out here on a Uber bike, on a bike, on a regular bike, 40 years old, and I am working every single day. I think. Yesterday was like my 25th, 26th day working in a row. And I work the p.m. into the morning when everybody is asleep and tired. I work into the morning. And I am on a bike going up hills. I do about 25 miles a day on a bike at age 40. On a regular bike, I can get an electric bike if I want to. But I don't want to get an electric bike. Because I feel proud to be physically outdoing guys in their 20s. I had a guy look like he was in his early 30s ask me yesterday, man, how are you doing this every day on a bike? I told him I'm a beast. <laughs> but no, I, I just told him basically that, you know, he could do it too. You see, because now I'm becoming a role model out here on these fields. These guys see that I'm out every day at my age. And they're thinking, man, what a man, if he's doing it, Man, I should be doing it too. And that's right, they should. Sometimes it takes for other people to see other people do things before they do it themselves. That's understandable. We all have, <clears throat> have things we look up to. Look at Shannon Sharp, 51 years old, and the guy's bench pressing over 400 pounds. What do you guys got to say to that? If that doesn't spark something, a fire in you to want to get up and you know, being physically on top of your game. This man is 51, 52 years old. I ate. I don't know. Maybe, maybe waste management needs to come and pick some of you guys up take and, and, and take you to the dumpster. Because the truth is, women are outdoing guys physically here in the year 2024 into 2021. I remember when I first got on my bike, I had women riding right past me. I said, oh, man, oh, wait a minute now. Uh-uh, this, this, uh, this can't happen like this. You see? Now, this picture you guys see of me, I was 28 years old in that picture. And right now, my legs are totally in shape. And I'm about four, four or five weeks of bench pressing from looking exactly like that in that picture. 28 years old, I am proud. I thank the most high for keeping me physically intact. Okay, 28 years old in that picture. 
But guys, yeah, you gotta, you guys gotta do better physically. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of men are just weak. I, I should have been in the military. Guys like me and David, we should, we could have been in the military, because we, we invite pain. We invite, we, we invite, you know, um, challenges. Because there are certain type of men that like challenges, and there are type of there are only two type of men: those who accept the challenge or those who run away from it. You see, only two type of men out here. Me and David was the type type that we accepted challenges. We motivated each other. We called each other. We called each other out when one when one wasn't physically uh, living up to what we knew what each other can do and that's the type of men we need out here we need guys that challenge other guys physically because I'm telling you most of you guys are through are through okay and this ain't no video to try to make people feel butthurt but I mean seriously guys we got women out doing most of the men today in the society and these same guys want to sit there and make videos talking down on women but they physically are doing you what do you got to say for yourself you see so I think I didn't pretty much said everything I wanted to say on this rant and again you know as far as how much money I'm making I mean I'm making over four thousand dollars a month under my own strength and guess what these Dominican women that work at McDonald's they taking notice they take a notice. They take a notice, guys. And they so happy to see me. Like this one guy left a comment. They say, oh, because you a manly man. You damn right, I'm a manly man. And the women recognize a manly man when they see why I'm out there every night. And they say, you know what? He's working harder than us. He deserves, he deserves our respect. See? I'm out there every day. Now, I'm about to challenge myself. I'm about to go on the biggest challenge that I ever have done in the wintertime. I'm going to I'm gonna attempt to work every day for about five or six months for 12 hours on my bike for Uber Eats and make the maximum amount of money that I have ever made in my life monthly from month to month. So those of you out there who think it's funny for a man to be on a bike, guess what? I'm going to be making 5000 plus on, on my bike under my own strength. What you, what you, what you got to say about that, those who think it's funny for a man to be on a bike, on a bike. Yeah, and I get to keep that money in my pocket too. So, you know. And I still got things physically I got to work on. So I think... This is pretty much my midlife rant. I think I didn't say it enough. And uh, guys, it's just something to think here. We got a 51-year-old Shannon Sharp bench pressing 400 pounds, and most of you guys can't even can't even bench press over I don't even know 150. It's it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. Young guys, I mean, same thing. Now, some of you guys who have children, that's understandable. You have other things to do you can't get around to but for the guys who don't have children we all got work to do and we all should be making sure that we stand out in our community on a mental and physical level help out when we can when we out and about because as far as I'm concerned you know if guys don't have children on this level and we're not contributing somehow physically we basically useless eaters there's no reason for a man to be really even be breathing on this level if he's not doing what needs to be done for uh you know i would say the community or helping out giving a helping hand things of this nature when he when he can so we got to be careful guys on how we use our energy and we have to make sure we're in tip-top shape not just for ourselves but for others as well I rest my case. Y'all take care out there. This is the conscious one. Peace.